nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So today, when it comes to the Apple Watch, we have a brand new update. And by going into settings and then going into general right here, you can see on the software update pane we have WatchOS 10 Beta 5. This update comes one week after the release of WatchOS 10 Beta 4. And for me, on my Apple Watch Ultra updating from Beta 4, you can see it comes in at exactly 481 megabytes this is the update size but if i go into my iphone here and open up the watch app and go to the storage section you can see the download file size here it actually jumped to 765.1 megabytes now this is what i'm going to be updating to and it's not all that apple released today in fact by going to the developer page you can see watch your ios 17 beta 5 was released today as well as ipad os 17 beta 5 mac os 14 beta 5 and watch os 10 beta 5 of course alongside tv os 17 beta 5 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if you're interested to see what's new or what's changed then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now let me finish updating my device and then we'll get to see what's changed when it comes to the new update for the apple watch so right here my device is up to date we'll let snoopy dance away and it at the same time triggered siri but if we go into our settings right here and go into general and go to software update it won't find an update because we are up to date and also if you wanted to see the notification wow this is something I've never seen this Snoopy animation, so I don't know if it's something that they just added with Beta 5, but you can see if, you know, let me know if you've seen this before from Snoopy where he's like in the club dancing. Pretty cool on watchOS 10 Beta 5, and it seems to be going on longer and longer compared to the other watch or animations that Snoopy does. So it's pretty cool. I can go on and keep talking others come and then they are short-lived but this one for some reason it seems like as long as i keep my apple watch up like this you know you can see my watch is right here so as long as i keep my apple watch face up like this snoopy keeps dancing so probably an update because this is the first time i'm seeing this snoopy animation since i updated to watch os 10 beta 5 i've never seen it before and i've been testing watch os 10 from the first beta up to the fifth beta so let me know if you get this animation after updating or if you've heard it before with the previous betas but if i do face down and go up like this you can typically see the duration of other snoopy animations and pretty short and that's it so let's go into settings and go to about you can see the new build number that we have here we have 21r5332f so this build number as you can see ends with an f and in terms of stability it does show that we took three steps in the positive direction because the previous one actually ended with an I. So it's a good thing, although it's not yet stable enough for me to be able to recommend and tell you to update to it as of yet. Now, let us look at some of the new features and changes. The first one, you probably saw it. It's the new Snoopy animation that's dancing, one that I'd never seen before. So that should be the first thing that seems to have changed with this update. I will test it out further after this video and get to see if there's any more animations that I've never seen before from Snoopy. And if we go to the other watch face, the palette, I don't think anything really changed with this watch face. It seems to be more or less the same. But when it comes to Apple Pay and Wallet, I'll be happy to let you know that with this update and also the previous official one, Apple did an update when it comes to Apple Pay. It's now available in Vietnam and it's also available in Chile. So if you have not been using Apple Pay for those reasons, you can now double tap and add your card to your wallet and then you will easily be able to pay using Apple Pay. Now, secondly, it has to do with health. I noticed that when it comes to watchOS 10 beta 5, 
this animation seems to be popping up way faster unlike the glitch that was there before and then this also measuring heartbeats after a few seconds you can see the red looks more richer compared to what we had before and the pulses seem to be timed um, faster unlike what was there before so that's a good thing and speaking of health again if you have the mental health app on your phone or if you have the health app on your phone here you can go into your health section here and if you go to the browse and go to where it says mental well-being you get to see that this logging your emotion this icon in itself is brand new on watch OS 10 beta 5 and if you click get it started so you see this pop-up screen that's here and if you click begin you see here some of the text looks richer and this used to be bold but now it's just regular text and then if you click next to you see that here this used to be bold, but it's now just regular text, not bold anymore. And some of the colors too have been tweaked with watchOS 10 beta 5. So that's more or less the changes that they are tweaking when it comes to this. And they've added more feelings that can better describe your mood or your mental health state. It's a good thing to show that Apple is really paying attention to health when it comes to this update. So that's a plus and you can always log in your mindfulness or state of mind on your Apple Watch if should you wish to and with watchOS 10 that experience is getting a little bit better. If you're wondering why I have the AirPods, this is because Apple has released AirPods beta with uh, alongside this that is 6A 5289C for AirPods and you can always check out in your system preferences for your AirPods to see whether they have been updated or not. I did do a video about updating or how to update your AirPods so do check it down below and then also when it comes to this uh, update Apple has made a number of minor changes for example Apple has added the Bitcoin symbol alongside other currencies so I don't know if this is going to be bullish, but it just goes to show that the SF symbols are now being added as the different currencies are also being added alongside this and changing. So it's a good update for this. And last but not least, when it comes to the Apple Music and you use it, I don't use it. But if you do, I'll be happy to let you know that Apple has done some sort of AI implementation to better recommend playlists that the end user will be able to listen to and tracks that are more or less similar to what you you like listening to so those are the changes that are here with this update when it comes to some of the issues that are here the first one that i've seen that that is being reported by a number of users has to do with notifications so sometimes you get a notification on your iphone but it doesn't show up on the apple watch and then there's also some duplicate notification where the same notification keeps coming up like two or three times and that's not normal and there's overlaid text sometimes especially when you try to use this new widget section here sometimes the widgets would have gone but the text will remain behind that is an issue at this point and a number of people have experienced issues when it comes to Siri sometimes Siri just doesn't get what you're trying to say or sometimes Siri basically keeps not understanding what prompts it's been given so that is an issue watch out for that and like I mentioned the widgets are glitching sometimes so that's about it for me when it comes to watchOS 10 beta 5 in terms of when watchOS 10 beta 6 is going to come out we are on a weekly release cycle at this point in time so look forward to that update sometime next week probably between the 14th of August to the 16th and then after that there might be beta 7 or hopefully if it's stable enough maybe an RC and when it comes to the public release of watchOS this watchOS update if watchOS 10 beta 5 is stable enough then you should be seeing it in about a day or two but if it happens to be that there's an issue like what we saw last week then apple might somehow hold it back a little bit hopefully that's not the case but this is how watch os 10 beta 5 has been on my apple watch ultra let me know what you think about this update and i'll see you in the next video
Peace. It don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the papa leader red. I only meditate some killage vanilla. Don't spill the conscious, steal the kids. Once was affected, I no longer breathe. I'm wide awake in the atmosphere. Solitary sick and tired of waving, sitting like the navy. We don't like to try to split conversations, flipping on the Bible page.